welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, I'm Teresa and I travel part-time in a coachman beyond. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm here at home base. I've been back now from Indiana and Ohio, I guess for about three, three, four weeks now. So I'm going to be here for a little while because um, I've got some family things to take care of, but uh, I am anxious, really anxious to get back on the road again. Um, but in the meantime, um, actually thinking about, or not thinking about, I'm going to uh, do some renovations uh, to the van. Uh, when I was in uh, Indiana at the rally, they had a, Coachman had a brand new um, uh, beyond the, well, they had the Galleria, they had the Beyond, and they had a Nova, but the Beyond they had was um, the rear bath. And so I kind of spent some time, I was sitting in there and I was kind of analyzing it. Because um, the biggest, like, I love my van, but the, the biggest issue I've had with it, uh, design wise, is really just kind of the sleeping area. Um, it's fine for one person. As you know, like, I'll sleep east to west. Uh, but when there's two people in here, it's really crowded. Um, and I can, I can, I'll kind of show you what I'm going to do. But anyway, so while I was there and I was sitting in the rear bath and I was thinking about it, because it's, if you're not familiar with that floor plan, so it's two twin beds. Um, the galley's in the front and the bath is in the rear. Uh, the pros are the bath is a little bit bigger and it's a little more private because it's not right by the slider door like this one is. So it's in the back and it has you know you don't you don't need like the shower curtain extend or anything because it's it's just big enough um, and it has a lot probably I would say more uh, inside storage um, because in the in that rear bath there's a um, there's some drawers and there's also a, like a cabinet that you could you know hang clothes in and things like that so you could store a lot in there um, <clears throat> but like I said so I was kind of analyzing it the downside to the rear bath is there's no garage storage um, for like chairs, grills, things like that. I mean, you could probably, you know, figure some things out, but it's it's not quite the same as, as what I have in here. Really, the C probably has the best um, garage storage. Now, the D floor plan also has, um, I guess you could call it twin beds. They're, I think they're a little bit narrower than they are in the rear bath, but they have the two bench seats that go you know, north south. Um, but again, they don't really have garage storage either because they have like a. Um, there's, it's it's a little bit raised from right about where the dinette or where the countertop for the galley stops. The floor raises, and the main reason I didn't go with the D is I knew that's just an opportunity for something for me to trip on. <laughs> so <laughs> if there's something for me to trip on, I'll trip on it. Um, so anyway, so I was kind of analyzing the rear bath and I was thinking about like, could I, um, uh, you know, would I want to switch to a rear bath? And so then I was thinking, well, maybe, you know, I was kind of analyzing the pros and cons and, and thinking, well, like maybe when the new year, the 2024s come out and I could see what some of the changes are that are, you know, things that Coachman might be doing. I know they've talked about some different colors. And so I was kind of waiting, kind of thinking about like, well, you know, maybe I'll see what they have, but I mean, I love everything else about this van. Like I love my galley. I, I don't mind the bathroom being up here. I mean, you know, you only have so much space in, in a van. So you either don't have a bathroom or the bathroom is, you know, either not going to be big enough or it's going to be somewhere you don't want it. Um, I mean, it is what it is with the van and, and you know, this bathroom is very workable. Yeah, I do have to, you know, close. I don't want to leave the slider open if I want to use it. I mean, I'll, you know, use my shower curtain for privacy if I need to. But anyway, <laughs> it, I, I can live with it is what I'm saying. And I love, of course, you know, having the, the separate freezer because I do keep ice in here. So I was kind of thinking about all those things. And then, you know, this would, you know, obviously there's more expense going going with a new a, a new van because I would... If I was going to trade, I would probably wouldn't go pre-owned only because if I was going to trade into a different van, I'd want to get some of the new features. I wouldn't want to just trade for the same features, if that makes sense, because then it's like, why trade? Um, 
And so, you know, obviously there would be that expense because it would be a new van. Um, and I'm not really ready to give this van up. So, so segueing into what I was thinking about, I'm like, well, somebody on the, you know, I was kind of discussing it on the Facebook group and somebody said, well, why don't you, you know, think about like maybe redoing, you know, doing a renovation on yours. Maybe that would be more, cost, which it would be much more cost effective. So I started thinking about that and I started sketching out an idea. Um, and what I came up with, it's kind of a, I guess a, hybrid of a D floor plan, a hybrid between the C and the D. So I would go with two twin beds, um, but leave because of where my, because on the C floor plan, the battery and the, um, if you have lithium, the battery's back here. If you have a generator, your water tank's back here. But anyway, in my case, it's the battery's back here and the water pump's back here. And I don't want to move any of that. I don't want to touch any of that. It, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So um, there is a partition here. Um, and I'll, I'll show you all this. But there's a partition here. And I'm like, okay, I'll leave that partition. So then I started thinking, well, what could you do on top? And then I would still have my storage in the back. So I thought, well, like maybe some kind of tabletop or like a countertop, like a, almost like a nightstand. So I'd have two twin beds, you know, with a nightstand in the middle and I'd still have my garage door. So I sketched all this out and I started thinking about, you know, just kind of dwelling on it and then, and kind of shared it with the, the group. And several people have done not quite that, um, but they have taken out their sofas. Um, and what they've done, they've kind of done like a U-shaped mattress. Um, but it's still the same concept, you know, taking the sofa out. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, so I'll, I'll kind of describe it a little bit better and actually I already ordered mattresses and they are supposed to get here today So I can't wait to see them. I'm hoping Fingers crossed that I measured correctly and and all of that um, because I'm actually um, If you could see right up here The way the sofa has that little cutout. I did the same thing with the mattresses So it'll go as far back. So, you know to get as much length as possible and I did 30 inches wide, which is about I think that's the same as like a cot, uh, cot width. Um, cause I think a twin would be 38 and that's way too big for in here. Um, so, and then I also tapered it, uh, at the bottom so that when you're coming in from the galley, it'll kind of curve in and I'll insert a, my drawing <laughs> that I sketched out for this. But, uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean with my frustrations with the bed as it is right now. Um, because as I think in my very first video where I'm in it uh, was when I, last winter when I was traveling up to Ohio to, to pick up my daughter, I had the bed all the way made out. And if you make it all the way out, like, and you keep, you know, you have it so that it's made up and you're not putting it away every night, you lose a lot of real estate. Like you, you lose so much room in here as far as like being able to move around. Like if you have two people, um, so that's why, and it's, it's kind of annoying to get in the bed cause you kind of have to like, you know, crawl in from, from this end, if you want to get out, you know, and inevitably you get in there and you're like, ah, oh, I forgot to go grab this. I wanted to grab some water. I left my glasses at whatever, you know, you realize you gotta get out or, you know, use the restroom. So you gotta climb back out. Um, so that's like not, you know, if you, in where I'm going with this is if, if I'm on the road for an extended period of time and someone's with me, like my daughter's with me, um, you know, cause we want to do the, we want to do, I think I mentioned before route 66 and we're also, um, going to be going to New Mexico and to Arizona. Um, you know, so we're talking a few weeks and leaving the bed out like that, it's just not going to be, it, it's going to be too cramped in here. So that's, option one. Now option two is not making the bed up all the way. So having it up, you know, like this with the seat up every day and then you make the bed up every night. Well, as you can see, and I, like I said, I'll point this out a little bit better, but this is really tall where that end of that is, that piece that kind of comes up, which I guess is like a headrest. So to get the bedding from the other side, you have to, well, in my case, because I got to stand on there and like yank everything out over the top of it and again you know if you're talking about one or two nights not a big deal if you're talking about weeks 
it will get on your nerves. I traveled last year that way and it did drive me crazy. <laughs> I think I was I think it was a three week trip and I was just done with that. Um, and you're sleeping on duvets, which they're OK, they're comfortable. They're not. But it's more it's it's not like a bed experience, like a more like a camping experience. Um, now, when I travel solo and just have the sofa down and made up as a bed, you know, sleeping east to west, I was pretty comfortable. Um, when we went up to my daughter's graduation, we decided to try it that way um, with my husband and I. It worked, but again, it wasn't sustainable. Like we, I think it was two nights and then we were at a hotel and then two nights back. So it was okay. And then when I picked up my daughter um, this last trip, because she's moved back home now, um, I think it was three nights like that. And again, it was okay three weeks four weeks not gonna not gonna work um it's too, it's too tight and i know that there are some people that do you know couples that sleep that way um but you know it's not for everybody uh i i slept towards the back and i found myself like you know up against the back doors so again it kind of came to that you know like if i want to travel with somebody and the other thing was i was thinking to myself well you know, if I want to bring a friend with me, you know, like a, like a girl's night, like I mentioned to one of my friends, like, oh, you know, we should go to a Harvest House winery and, you know, just have a girl's night. And I was like, well, I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, you know, we're friends, but, you know, we're not that good of friends. You know, we want to have our own space. So this way it'd be nice, you know, just everybody has their own space. Um, so I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work out well. I did find someone. Um, who's going to do the work for me. Uh, the reason we're not doing it <laughs> I, is I, I know what my level is of um, handiness. <laughs> and I figure I would rather leave it to someone who knows what they're doing. Um, and I found someone he actually has done. He's been in the RV um, uh, industry I forget how many years, he's, you know, 20, 30 years um, in the maintenance side. So he does maintenance and he also does build outs. He's done renovations and stuff. So I figured he probably knows what he's doing. He knows what the components are. He knows what not to touch and what, you know, what needs support and all that kind of thing. So, <laughs> but anyway, so like I said, the mattresses come today. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you those when they get here. But uh, I'll show you what I mean, like, in terms of space. Now, it's a little messy in here because um, I've got all my, my table extensions and everything's just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> it's put, things are put away, but there's just, it's just kind of messy in here because I'm not camping or traveling right now. So I measured yesterday, and I think if I'm correct, and we'll see when the mattresses get here, they should come to here and to here. So like this area here is where I envision like a tabletop um, and then a mattress on each side. Uh, but I'll show you real quick. So when this seat comes down, yeah, there go my tables. So the seat's down. So that's pretty, cause this is not actually this is just a little bit bigger than a twin when it's this way. Um, not quite full size. So yeah, a little tight for two people. Um, now two people sleeping north-south, which north-south is this way. Um, a lot of people do this where they'll have like a mattress here. What they've done is they've had a custom mattress made so it's like a U-shape. So they'll have the mattress here. They leave this space open. But this is about, I want to say it's 20... These are like 20 inches. So what, what I was doing with the duvelets, I would leave it this part open and have the duvelets here. But again, it, it's kind of because this is not that wide. Um, yeah, it is just your legs here, but it is kind of a little uncomfortable. Now coming back here now, like I was saying with the bed all the way made out, it's up to here. Okay. So you're losing all of that space just to move around. 
and you can't really sit on the bed. Um, you, I mean, it's just like, it's like this entire space pretty much becomes useless unless you're sleeping, if it's all the way made up. So, like I said, once those mattresses get here, we'll, we'll see how this is, uh, I'm going to open them up and then just kind of lay them here and make sure that they, they fit okay. But, uh, like I said, the plan is a mattress here, a little like tabletop and a mattress here. And this, instead of having just, you know, this space, it'll actually, it'll actually be the full space of when the seat is up. So it would be, the walking space would actually start from here and go all the way up here. So this is the partition I was talking about and then that's gonna stay. So the nightstand thingy would start from about here. But it gives you, it, it should give us, you know, pretty decent space. So as you can see, the mattresses came yesterday. Um, I just got them in here. I think this is gonna be pretty cool. Um, they're not gonna be sitting this high because um, right now I still, you know, have the couch in here and the cushion for the jump seat. So it'll probably be about maybe five inches lower than this, maybe a little bit more, but you know, because the mattress is thicker obviously than the cushions are. But yeah, I think this is this is going to work out well. I think there's there's not quite as much space in between as I was thinking, but it's still that's fine. And the the curve here is going to work out well. I'll show you what I mean. So I have this on a little bit wide angle, but um, so you can see how the curve is here. So that gives you know nice nice little space for walking back here. Um, you know it's. I think this, yeah, I think this is going to be pretty cool. Notch worked out just right. Um, yeah, my measurements came out good, so I'm real happy about that. Uh, now I can't really, can't wait to get this project going. Um, he's coming Saturday, and I think he's going to, we're going to take the couch out, and <clears throat> he's going to do measurements and everything, but uh, yeah. This is kind of an idea of what it's going to look like. So, yeah, so that gives you a good idea. Um, I can't wait to get this started so, uh, so I can get back on the road. Um, like I said, I've got some other things going on that I've got to get taken care of before I go anywhere, but uh, hopefully it'll all fall in place at the same time. So <laughs> and then I can get on the road. But uh, I think this is going to make things a lot more comfortable. Um, <clears throat> mattresses feel pretty good. They're soft. I mean, they're, they're the, um, not memory foam, but you know, foam mattress because they came compressed. Um, but, uh, yeah. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated on the project and I'm probably going to close this out with some clips from the, uh, Coachman Rally in Indiana. Um, Anyway, hope you enjoy, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and if you have, thank you for subscribing if you're new here, uh, but anyway, I'll see you in the next one.